So getting straight into it, in the data generator class, add in a struct called biome data. This struct will contain four variable integers representing the generation characteristics of a given biome. With that struct declared, let's now add in code in the actual data generation code that will determine the biome for each column of blocks generated in a given chunk. We first declare the biome coordinates for the Perlin noise generator. For tutorial's sake, I am using 0.75 as a scale, but in practical use you would want a smaller scale of something below 0.5. Next up, we get the Perlin noise value and based on its difference between 0.5, we choose between two biome data with different top blocks. Now to wrap all this up, we just remove the literal declarations of the block type to assign variable in the for loop assigning the block types with the data block integers. Now one more thing we can add in is the masking of the structure generation in this other biome we are declaring. This can be done with a simple if statement checking the top block determined earlier in the code. Now the last thing we need to fix is the top block detection algorithm in the structure generator. I had my recording pause for some reason when doing this, so here is the old and new code for that algorithm. And with that done, if you compile and run your game, you'll start to see biomes forming in your world. The system can definitely be expanded upon by adding in more layers of noise for different biomes, more structures, and whatnot. This will be handled in the next video of this series. So with that said, like and subscribe, and I hope to see you all in my next video.